the YouTube, this your man Spill Dog. Hey, y'all, Monster Tim Zuda got the guy beat and sent back to Australia. His first championship big fight out here, pay per view. Uh, I told y'all it was probably gonna be an upset alert. Fondura outboxed him, used the jab, used his height and distance. Now it was a it was a big cut in a uh in the in the right at the end of the first round. And it put a big gash in the type of top of blue was at the top of zoo head and he was bleeding like a hog the whole the whole fight. And I will say, the first two rounds, Zoo was clearly winning, landing big shots. Looked like he might have got inside and did some damage. Uh bust Fondura nose up real good. But after Fondura put that elbow in his head and, and put that gash on the top of Zoo's head, it was so much blood and Zoo faced the entire fight. He really was at a disadvantage all night, if I'm being honest about it. Uh, but like I said before, he's not he's not a quick fighter. He don't have a a, a big a, a big a lot of different type punches that he throw. Uh, I mean, he's a, he's a basic fighter, if you ask me. Uh, just strong. Uh, he was going. This was going to happen to Zoo. With Spence, Crawford, any of the top Americans was gonna beat him up real good. I mean, I I I, I never saw no monster there. I've been saying this all for the last two weeks. I don't see no monster. I just see a uh, a guy that's strong. That's that's what I seen a guy that's strong and uh and he got exposed tonight. If if I'm being honest, he got exposed tonight uh you, because Fondura hit him four jabs. To his one big shot every round, every time Zoo would land a punch, Fondura would hit him four or five times. Right afterwards, and uh, he just he he just outboxed him, you know. It. But Fondura used his height and reach, what something he usually don't do in his fights. You know, he's been known to give up his height, going inside, fighting inside. And I gotta say, he stayed on the outside the entire fight, pumped that jab all night long. Uh, he didn't throw nothing with authority behind it, but he didn't need to. Uh, the, the 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 straight lefts and left hooks and j straight jabs was enough. And uh, Earl got in the ring after the fight. He looked good to me, like he said he ready ready to get back in there and get back busy. So, you know, uh, I guess Terrence Crawford gonna have to sit back on the sideline and see what happened. Uh, I heard Brian Custer say something about Zoo reactivating his rematch clause, but they already just basically announced Earl Spence versus Fondura in the ring after the fight. So that's the, that's the next fight we're going to get. And I think, I don't care who you is, this dude hiding reach is going to be somewhat a problem. Uh, I think Earl will be able to get on the inside door and work that body and break the big guy down because uh, it's not like he's elusive. He's just tall. You know, uh, and it, you know, so we'll see. Uh, but we had a, you know, it was a real good card the whole night. Uh, the worst fight was the Raleigh Romero fight, yeah, in my opinion. Uh, outside of that, it was a good night of boxing. We got a good pay per view tonight. Uh, and uh, she hopefully, hopefully the next one is just as good. You know, uh, especially at the price we got it at. But uh, that's it for me on this video. If you like the video, like or subscribe. Till next time, it's your boy Spiel Dog. I'm out.